Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do that than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. With us now this morning, Julianne Cox. She's back from the Champaign County Farm Bureau's Ag in the Classroom program. Part of the foundation's efforts here in Champaign County to teach kids in schools about agriculture. And you've been busy this semester, haven't you? Oh yes, we've covered a lot of history with our superheroes in Ag. Oh, fun. You've yeah. done that. Uh, we've had lessons here as well on yep. TV. Uh, now, you visit schools all across Champaign County. What are, from elementary age, is that your primary? Yes, uh, I go kindergarten through eighth grade because some of our schools go all the way up to eighth grade. That's awesome. That's exciting. Yeah. And, uh, if, you know, you're hitting schools here in Champaign County. There's someone in every county that's hitting schools there. So uh, we'll connect you with your local Ag in the Classroom coordinator on our website. We got a great lesson this morning. This one's a familiar one. I think a lot of kids recognize this, don't they? Yes, you remember the very hungry Oh, Of course I do. Yeah. 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 So we've taken a, a, a nod off of the very hungry caterpillar where a caterpillar is born from an egg and then it eats its way into its chrysalis and then comes out and becomes a butterfly. Not to spoil the ending for you, but we've <laughs> We've changed it into the very hungry Western caterpillar. This is just a way for us to identify the things grown in other states oh, that's exciting. for kids and then also give them geographical awareness of where the other states are. That's very important, whether it's states, counties, or roads or things like that. We talk yeah. about it all the time. Hey, you got to know where you live when severe weather's coming. We're using maps true. and talking about that. So this that's is true. excellent yeah. way. To do that. Talk more about this book. So what we're going to do is this can be done in several different ways. You can create the book where each kid gets a page and makes their own page, or you can assign it to the, them to do the whole thing. And what they're first going to do is we're going to identify the states, and then we're going to identify what is grown in them. Um, so first we have to, in the story, we have to do our eggs. So we just bundle up a piece of tissue and we glue it right there or taping. I'm very fond of taping things. <laughs> um, and then you can see there's these pictures here. We have them provided to us in a PDF. Oh, nice. And the kids can just uh, bubble cut them out. Or the nice thing is you can actually have them draw their own pictures. So we're just going through this. Unless you got Idaho and potatoes. Yeah. So this is what the PDF comes and looks like. And then, but you can have them draw their own. Now, did you see I had little caterpillars on you there? You did. I do see that. That That's a fun thing to do for almost any age is they love doing the finger pit oh, caterpillars. And then um, what I've added here is the state uh, colored in. So that way they have recognition of the state to the crop and hopefully they'll be able to associate that. So we go through all the different um, commodities in each area from lamb chops to steaks. So not just our fruits and vegetables and our milks in California. And each and page pretty much has a caterpillar, or each state has each, a caterpillar that you, yes. you put on there. And then if you see here, this, our caterpillar gets bigger. Recommendation, uh -huh. use the thumb instead of the finger. So, so you're starting to get pinky fat. and going bigger and bigger, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. That's pretty fun. And then we need to make a chrysalis. Uh, we use little pom-poms and just wrapped them in saran wrap and then taped it on there to represent the chrysalis. And that's when the, cater the caterpillar winterizes, essentially, and by the spring it's coming out as a butterfly, right? Yes, and here's our lovely butterfly. This is, we've just taken a clear Ziploc bag. We've cut strips of paper. Often Sometimes we have lots of extras and then you just wrap it with the pipe in order to make it into the butterfly. That's really exciting and now even if maybe the book isn't something you get to just the stages is something that's really easy to do from the caterpillar with the fingerprinting all the way up through the chrysalis and into the butterfly. It's really, really yeah, neat. There's several different aspects. There's that uh, graphic there that shows some of the information where food comes from. Again, this is a great way to learn where food comes from that's not in Illinois here yeah. and uh, you could probably if you really wanted to create a state map or something like that, a little book for wherever you, you go with that. So yeah. great lesson. And if you want this book or any book recommendations, any lesson plans and more from Ag in the Classroom, be sure and head over to our website, wcia.com slash ag in the classroom.